Hey everyone, how's it going? So in the last video, I talked about acceptance and accepting death, accepting Sarah's death and kind of what that means um, for me and how kind of changing symbols from this hand to this hand and you know, some of the things that we wear around our neck, how those impact us. Um, impact me, impact my kids as well. Um, and in the comments, I noticed uh, the theme of love. And I love love. <laughs> um, love is a really, really simple concept um, in my heart, in my mind. But it's also really complex. And we complicate it, I think, a lot. Um, something went boom. Um, and so there's a lot of people that have lost a spouse and one of the themes I saw is they will, they don't want to necessarily date somebody or, or try that relationship, like actively try, um, for fear of not being able to give that new person the love that they gave their first person. And I love that for the simple fact that you know how much love you were giving your person that has died. Here's where my mindset on that is different. And it stems from talking to my counselor as well, um, being able to have multiple emotions at the same time, right? We can mourn, we can be sad, we can be angry, we can be happy, we can laugh, all at the same time, all of it at the same time, right? Um, and I can love my mom, I can love my sister, I can love my dad, I can love my brother, I can love my kids, I can love my friends, and I can love Sarah all equally. Sarah, I love the most. because I loved them, not a comparison. I loved them. So if somebody comes along, and that is me not saying, <laughs> I'm not actively gonna be going out looking for somebody, I'm not heading out to the bar, I'm not getting on any dating sites or anything like that, but if somebody comes along, I'm not gonna try to love them like I loved Sarah. I can't. There's no way. Because I love Sarah how I love Sarah. What I can do is love them how they need to be loved and how I love them. And I can still love Sarah at the same time how I love Sarah. So it's not, what is it, mutually exclusive? Like, I think we can do both of them at the same time. Whether or not we can, like, get to that place emotionally, that's that's an individual thing, right? I think I I, I know it's possible, because um, I want my heart to be open. Uh, Sarah would want my heart to be open and would want me to be loved, and and enjoy life. So it's one of those things where just like our emotions and how we're feeling and all that stuff. Um, love falls into all of that. And so um, I think it's important and it's hard to know that it doesn't have to be the same love. It doesn't have to be a comparable love. It's a different love. It's a unique love and it's a special love for that relationship because every relationship that we build that we intentionally try and grow is usually based on a foundation of love. And then we build that up as the relationship grows and grows and grows. And so that's it. That's, that's my thoughts on loving again and allowing myself to be loved. And I'm hoping this is helpful for other people because I did see it as a hard concept and I did see it in the comments as 
a stopping point for a lot of people to be loved and cared about in a way that they might want to be and maybe are not allowing themselves to be. So I'm hoping this helps some of you guys. That's it. Have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are. Remember, in the words of Sarah, be kind and make good choices.